Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Rob Willis.info here, and in this video, I want to quickly touch on something I've kind of talked about a little bit in the past, but I've never actually had the opportunity to show you guys. So if you've seen any of my installing ESXi videos, you'll notice that I pretty much always install ESXi to a USB drive and boot it from there, so that way I don't have to waste a hard drive on it, because it's really kind of overkill. But in this case, with the R610 chassis, it actually has an internal USB that I can use for that exact purpose. Uh, you'll notice I've already gone ahead and stuck a 16 gig USB drive in there. Um, and it actually also has an SD slot as well. So now I can go ahead and use this exactly like I normally would, but it'll be safely and securely stored inside the chassis and greatly reducing the chance of it being accidentally removed or even purposely. And then the lid for this server actually has a lock on it as well, so that also helps increase the security aspect of things. Um, but this isn't something that every server chassis is going to have, but if you do have one in your server, there's a high likelihood that you could utilize it in this way. Alright, so I've gone ahead and logged into my Windows 10 machine, and I'm already logged into the track for the server, and I've gone ahead and powered it on. I'm not going to get into a full-blown ESXi install here, because I've already covered that in depth in other videos, and I'll include links to that stuff down below, just in case you're interested. Um, but what I do want to show you is I'm going to enter the, the BIOS boot manager here, and I just want to show you what it looks like when the storage is presented to the server. So it's going to take a second before we get to that point, so I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead a little bit, and we'll pick up from there. Alright, so the server should be up in just a second here, and we should see our BIOS boot menu. And I'm just going to go ahead and arrow down to the hard drive C, and because uh, that's where it's going to associate the USB drives. But we see that it clearly marks out an internal USB, which is the data traveler, along with our front USB, which contains our bootable ESXi image that we're going to install from. And so at this point, I would normally go ahead and select the front USB since that contains the installation media. And then once it's fully booted up into the install, I'd go ahead and select the internal USB as my installation destination. And then once everything's all said and done, I'll go ahead and make sure that the internal USB is set as, set as my primary boot device to ensure that the server boots from it from that point on. And so I think that's where I'm going to wrap this one. Uh, nothing super fancy here. I just wanted to give you an idea of some additional uh, options for installing ESXi if your servers have these features available. And uh, yeah, so uh, as always, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.